hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle um, today I'm going to be doing a Canterbury uh, part one um, a video today and I'm going to do a part like to later on today if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and uh, for doing so um, so uh, let's jump right into it it's sunny at the moment um, here at in Canterbury, it's still quite cold. Um, this is um, a old church, and it's a parish church, church of Saint Dunstan, the Holy Cross, Saint Dunstan, or Saint Dunstan's church. There's plenty of uh, bus, uh, bus stops um, scattered around. And it has a bench outside uh, for you to sit on. The bus stop um, is stagecoach to University of Kent. Whitstable, Herne Bay and Hales Place and there's the timetable but to go to other places as well that's when the surface is on. There's also a film, Michael Gain, Glenda Jackson, The Great Escaper, on uh, Saturday the 4th of May at 2.30pm, followed by ref refreshment, suggested donation, £7. It looks like a beautiful church with a a clock on it and then we've got the monument free house pub that hosts quiz nights then towards that uh, this way the theatre there's another bus stop up, um, up there again Still outside the church. Teeny tops Thursday at St Dunstan's Hall. Then it looks like raffles. on Whitstable Road and St Dunstan's Street so I'm going to carry on uh, down St Dunstan's Street and again it's really nice when they have a, a timetable and a bus shelter and seats to sit on um, if it rains, there's also another telephone box and there's bins around. This town see, um, seems pretty clean at, um, at the moment, which is a really good thing. Seem, seems clean.
It looks like um, at the bottom of the road, Canterbury Castle. And then this is Kit McGrath Educational Centres and um, also it looks like a Tudor house here. There's a dance warehouse, belly, a belly tap, come on, contemporary jazz, studio and classes, and a martial arts centre as well. Then there's the coffee corner that do breakfasts, brunch, coffee, ice drinks, takeaway, corners, pastas, sandwiches. Homemade sandwiches, filter coffee. Oh, that's cheap, £2.20. And you can sit outside and inside. Then there's postpartum and mail box centre that's um and print centre Walsh's bakery and um, you can park um and that's where you pay here Johnson between those times but it's permanent holders or pay at the machine uh, maximum stay two hours and then that's St Johnson's dental practice lovely coloured doors different colours we have what it looks like, the unicorn, looks like a Tudor pub, the unicorn inn, has beer gardens and cocktails. And then like another Tudor house cottage. Life's old kitchens. Now this is a level St Dunstan's level crossing. And there's in the distance St Dunstan's West train station. Then we've got the platform shop and Chinese takeaway. Then a chemist as well. Cheadle's chemist. Mario's fish and chips. Another Tudor house. Sainsbury's local. Um, I received a meal deal for five pounds. Um, it's just that I need to be back to the coach at, um, well, it leaves at half, half twelve, so I thought I'd have it's something to eat while I'm on the coach. Uh, because it's going to be cheaper also than getting it at Leeds Castle which is going to be a video that I'm going to be doing later on today then there's a betting shop Paddy Pound 
power than a grocery or produce store, grocery, frozen foods, then Canterbury Wine Mart convenience store, then Lake Cafe, Canterbury West Station that way, there's Leo's Barbers here, Temple House, that looks like a really old building, there's also an eco fair at St Peter's Anglican Church free entry refreshments on the 11th of May, so it looks like Joyful Rebellion, Beanie House, 23rd of March to the 19th of May, featuring artwork for people with learning disabilities and autistic people across the Lake Arch. The exhibition is complemented by seven exclusive workshops. Wow. I won't be here, but again, it sounds like um, an interesting event to see all the out at Canterbury Wine Mark, Lake Cafe, refectory kitchen, like Turka, all sorts of restaurants, uh, lots to choose from, and Shepherd Nemi Limited, Britain's oldest brewer, malt and hops, only finest hails food and wine, Bishop's Finger. Wow. Then there's the tap room as well and golden kitchen takeaway. Uh, Leo's at Cafe and Sandwiches next door to Leo's Barber. So again, a very this city's got a very good choice of um, eating places. Another bus stop um, here, Westgate Towers. This one doesn't have a bench, but it has the times and it does have shelter. A barber, Leo's Hair and Beauty, another barber shop. Chapman's in Canterbury. Um, again, lo it looks like um, a pub style restaurant. Yes. Well, yeah, then we've got Westgate Dry Cleaners. Welcome to the West End of Canterbury. Are you ready to take the pilgrimage? That's nice. On an empty shop. Cafe de Amas. It's got lots of cactuses. This is again Northgate. Wow. This is a no through ro road. Cafe de Ames de, Muse uh, de Mexican or Mexican restaurant. At uh, Westgate Hunt, Trip Advisor. Parks and Nature Reserve, 35 minute ride. So you can do either the 35 minutes or the 50 minutes. Parks and Nature Reserve, 50 minutes ride. And Parks and Old City Canal, one hour ride. 
but yes um, if I come to Canterbury again um, I wouldn't mind taking um, a trip and these are the prices down here Les enfants, attendez en haut. Les enfants, William, tu remontes tout de suite. If I was to spell, stay, have a full day in Canterbury, then it's definitely something that I would like to do. City and County of Cam Canterbury, Westgate Gardens, which is Heritage Lottery funded, Green Flag Award, 25 years winner, uh, 2001, 2002, 25th anniversary. It looks absolutely gorgeous with lighting and the beautiful coloured gardens, oh, well, coloured flowers and yes, beautiful coloured trees. It looks absolutely amazing and uh, also seats and bins and it's um, the churches here. The city of Gar... Uh, Canterbury Guild Hall. This is the Kent Museum of Free Missionary and then there's also a bus stop again outside. This is again the Guild Hall, Canterbury City Council, another side to the Guild Hall. Okay, lots of beautiful trees. Just going to go over road. This is called St. Peter's Place. There's bus shelter with seating. And uh, you could also park your bikes there and cash machines. So plenty of places to get your ca uh, cash out. Kent Museum of Free Missionary. Doesn't look like it says it's opening times. Again, lots of events like uh, Sister Hat, uh, Wendy Peters and Landy on Chino and Vigo Ven and 
the boy, the back of the class, um, all at the Marlowe Theatre. The search is Jesus Christ Superstar, the Night Sky Show, or Dolly Parton's Here You Come Again at the Marlowe Theatre. Wow, we have um, a little box, oh, a little bin and some more seating and some cobbled uh, part, um, part of the street. There's absolutely lots of shops barbers, eating places to choose from. Um, hairdressers as well and um, yeah. barbers to choose from as well. I think they're actually do, uh, doing the drains here. This is the Sydney Cooper Gallery. It did say it's opening times, but it's rub it rubbed off. Clove shops, phones and vapes. Black Griffin Public Bar. The Lady Lock Pub. Tacos and Locos Mexican and Cocktail Bar. David Grimes Opticians. Um, again, it's uh, the Army Charity Shop. Zinc Studios. Professional body piercing. Then there's the cricketers pub, kebabs, fried chicken, munchies, um, either takeaway and um, sit in. And then we have a subway, and then five guys, burgers and fries. Um, Curzon Cinemas that way, Westgate Hall, Citizens Advice, Drill Row all that way. This is St Peter's Church. Again, an eco fair that I mentioned earlier. So again, lots of churches. Um, again, lots of cha uh, charity shops as well. St. Peter's Methodist Church. Again, more cafes and restaurants. Bubble milk tea, Tire Lab, Nails and Beauty. And that's the Marlowe Theatre in Canterbury where, uh, where a lot of events um, are and shows that you can watch. It looks absolutely spectacular. Pilgrim's Hotel. And uh, Marlowe um, Theatre Car Pearl Permit hold holders only though. A disabled blue bra badge people can park free for up to four hours by displaying the, the blue badge. So only 
certain people can park here and it's got all the events on um, shows what you can see James Hackett Mar Marlowe's That's a nice memorial. Then there's um, a place to bar uh, park your bikes, a little pin. Um, again, I'm looking at a, a very um, clean, um, brightly painted town. Not many places up to now doing nothing. Plenty of signage, tourist information, cathedral, being the art museum and library, Roman museum, tourist information all that way. Canterbury West, Westgate Museum and toilets that way. King, Kingsmouth. Well, specialty shops and Marlowe Theatre that way. And that's the Friars. And um, the Pilgrim's Hotel also has a bar. Um, there's also a record store as well that you can pop in for browse. Those people like my brother, um, like um, to collect vinyls. And this is another vape shop. There's Canterbury Jewellers and Pawnbrokers. That's the first jewellery and pawnbrokers shop that I've seen um, in Canterbury. That's a hot at, at drinks and snacks to go convenience store. This is the Magic Bar. Luke Goldsmith and um, handcrafted jewellery and again it does say the opening times so yes Lots of charity shops and coffee shop. Um, a two, uh, that, uh, this looks like the old weaver's house, uh, which is, looks like another children at uh, Tudor building, but it's now a piece of pasta place where you can. It looks like you can sit indoor and outdoor. Um, here's the Marlowe Theatre and restrooms are for customers only. French and Gardens gift shops. So yes, there's quite a few gift shops that I would love to go into later. There's us um, again Italian. Absolutely wide range of like most cities um, eat, eating places to choose from. And ra uh, there's another Sainsbury's local, there's a Presso. Christian 
Science Church is that way. East Winchy Rail Station's that way. There's a normal castle and gardens. Some of the writings that come off. Foundry of Ruler and Distilleries that way and Greyer's Garden. So let's have a look up this way, some cobbles street part again. Another telephone box. That looks like um, an, a game and eating place. Greyfriars Lodge and um, if you're looking for guest house accommodation it's a three-star guest accommodation just in case you wasn't looking for a hotel but a cheaper alternative Old Brewery Tavern And there's the Foundry pub. Now that, uh, this is Canterbury Brewers and Distillery and the old brewery. There's absolutely lots to see and do, the mill studio. There's Marlowe's ghost escape rooms. Um, you just call this number down there for a session. <laughs> Canterbury Cathedral's that way. And the gardens are that way, tourist information that way, Norman Castle. So I think I'll just go along this street here. And see what we can find. Hopefully we'll see a castle. I really love walking, especially on a, um, a nice sunny day that's a dry. I've had a really good walk today. St Edmunds Roads, Tailors and Hairdressing.
Greyfriars Lane Cottage. Some more signage, which is always good to see. St Peter's Church, Normal, uh, Norman Castle, Canterbury Heritage, Torres Information Centre, Pilgrim's Way, that way, Riverside Walk. Hopefully I'll see a castle soon. <laughs> East Winchy Railway Station. Church Lane. Let's have a look down this way. My bag's broke, <laughs> oh. which is very annoying. I'm going to have to try and fix it later, if I can. <laughs> So this is St Milford's Church. There's another train station and bus station. More signage. There's an Aldi uh, or Aldi Logan House. The Round House. This looks like some sort of a castle wall. So maybe it's like a ruin of a, a castle. The Norman's castle and then there's the subway. So, I'm going to wrap this video here, huh? And I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you uh, for another exciting part two video of Canterbury later on today. So thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.